I'm Paul Holofko. Today we're going to show how to make liquid fertilizer for your hydroponic system. One of the caveats for making liquid fertilizer for yourself is you don't really have synthetic fuel to be able to build uh, regular store-bought stuff. So we have to do it at home and this is how we do it at home. It's very simple. We start basically with a five gallon bucket in this case and fill it about halfway with water. So what I do is I use a liquid humic acid, which is basically here's a gallon, and just really just throw in a, a, little, um, a couple drops of it. That wasn't too little either, but it will work for what we want to do. Then the other way you can do it is if you want, if you don't have humic acid around, you can take a lemon, cut it, and then throw it into water. It also will then take the chloramine out of your water. Next step really is to use a bag and use compost, worm compost. This is worm castings right here. And this is a bag that I got at the hydroponic store, which has the weave just right for the microbiology for the hydroponics to come out, but yet keeps all the crap in there. Take your, take your worm castings. And in this case, I got two bags of this. You can also use compost as well, but just make sure you have a good compost that has, um, that's been wet and hasn't dried out. That's the really best. Roll this up, okay? And then you're gonna wash it. Try to get almost all the material out there. Okay, that looks about right. You can see almost all of the worm casting stuff is gone and all that's left is just inorganic material, stones, things like that, rocks, whatever, that you don't. Don't put the whole, don't put the, uh, all of your compost tea directly into here because it'll plug up your system later on. After doing all the extractions of your worm compost, you really need to have food in there for them to survive. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking some of this water and then flushing it through a hydroponic system. You need to be able to feed the microbiology so they can actually feed your plants. And the things that I use is fish hydrogenate, or this is basically fish meal. Take entire fish, blend it in a blender. That's what this stuff is. You also have kelp, and you put in one shot glass of seaweed or, or sea kelp. And last, what I like using is fish and poop, is one that I get at a local hardware store, which actually has a pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good nitrogen in there to feed your plants. Now, you're ready to grow hydroponic plants.